Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K21 video. Um, in today's video, we're going to be talking about patch 3. As you guys can see, the patch is currently downloading. Um, it is 22 gigs on PlayStation. I'm not sure how many gigs it is on uh, Xbox, but what I'm here to tell you guys is all the patch notes, my thoughts on the patch notes, and also, if you missed my last video, um, basically we talked about an aimbot which is in the community right now. And a lot of players that play online, including myself, are absolutely pissed off because I can't use an aimbot. And the reason why I can't use an aimbot is because I'm a prolific figure in this community. And if I do use an aimbot and I showcase any type of gameplay in that fashion, I'm getting banned <laughs> immediately. So I don't associate myself with people that use that. I'm not going to be using it, um, and I hope that you wouldn't as well. I hope that we would all play fair out here, but of course, that's not the case. Everybody wants that high win percentage. Smurf accounts are a thing, but um, basically in patch three, there are three huge updates. The first big huge update is the fact that ankle breakers and other defensive movements will now happen when certain dribble move combos are uh, put together. Um, also pro dribble moves are now available for users that have an 80 ball handle An 80. That's crazy. The next thing on the list is defensive sliding. So 2k has said that they have updated or addressed issues where players would be sliding on defense. Now, of course, I have the entire list here for you guys. We will be breaking it down momentarily, but for the most part, Mike Wang and the dev team already told us that everything that we had issues with, such as ankle breakers and everything like that, was going to be addressed in patch three. That means when the game first dropped, they already had patch uh, number two in the chamber. You know what I'm saying? It was already click. click ready to just let the patch go and we had so many other issues and they told us like yo it's going to take us until patch three to address this now for all the people out there that are worried about aimbot i can tell you right now if 2k don't take shot aiming out or they don't have some type of anti-cheat or anything like that that can find out what's going on it's rap city you know what i'm saying i don't know how many patches it's going to take in my last video i told y'all maybe patch six but patch six is so, it seems so far away in, in the grand scheme of things because next gen NBA 2K is on the way. So it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a scary, it's a scary time right now. You know what I mean? But let's go ahead and break down the patch notes. So breaking down the patch first and foremost, um, you can already tell that they're letting they're trying to be very transparent this year because they know in recent years they really didn't put out a lot of info to us and it left us wondering what was going on people were in an uproar so they're already letting you know that the visual concepts team is working hard trying to polish the game and stuff like that so a lot of the lighting animations uh courts jerseys colors like a lot of that stuff still needs to be polished but the main thing that a lot of people is worried about is the gameplay that's usually what everybody is worried about because usually the gameplay experience is the thing that hurts the most because we have to constantly look at the eyesore of it all. You know what I mean? So basically it's saying here that this updates brings plenty of fixes and adjustments, including a slew of balance changes to dribbling that expand your options for breaking down your opponents. The mainstay of this patch is to let you guys know that ankle breakers are now in the game on the 28th of September. So for everybody out there that was like, yo, I can't get no breaker, ankle breakers, even if I got my takeover, nobody slide, nobody slipping, nobody falling. This is this is your patch. This is all the ankle breakers patch out there. So everybody that have playmaking takeover, hopefully you guys can rejoice in this. I don't have that takeover, so I cannot rejoice in that. You know what I mean? Now, um, the general thing, they say that they fixed an issue that would lead players getting removed from online matches when greening shots due to divergent settings. So basically, um, someone told me that every time they made a green in a park, they would either get kicked or one of their teammates would get kicked. 
some people said that they found a small fix was to turn off your shot feedback and everything like that in this patch they're saying that they fixed that completely so if you are still experiencing that after you download the patch and you hit the part for all the people that would were experiencing that please let me know in the comment section so i can let them know that it's either still happening or it's completely fixed all right this is this is where the transparency comes in at if you guys tell me and i tell them then then we all good you know what i mean we got it oh we still got an issue or we all good on that front um improve audio not worried about that player likeness to dame not worried about that improve our lighting text readability not worried about that um fix the rare hang that could have happened upon joining the 2k beach neighborhood from a friend invite in the squad app that's cool that's that's valid you know what i'm saying i don't want to hang in the menus you feel me um fix the minor graphical issue when the tall scrunch socks and compression pants were used together cosmetic i like it though fix some travis scott's though um fix the issue that was causing existing tattoos to disappear when applying new tattoos in the neighborhood you guys know why we why we have that issue right because of the tattoo glitches and all that that was happening for the last couple years in the game the reason why some of these tattoos are removing because it's the same thing you know what i mean you go in there try to get tatted up and all that your tattoos getting removed because it was glitches last year and the year before so you know, you know what i'm saying hopefully they fixed all that you know what i'm saying um fix the hang um occasionally when you use the nav menu in the neighborhood okay in the micro menu all right cool i don't want to hang you know what i'm saying Fix the display issue at the boost stand. I really don't care about the boost stand. You know what I mean? Like, I, I really don't care. Um, For neighborhood, park, rec, pro-am games, ball handle requirement to unlock pro dribble moves have been lowered to 80 overall. Like I told you guys in the beginning of this video, this will make everybody more on a level playing field, I would have to say, mainly because it's going to be one of those things where you can do all these crazy dribble moves, but you just can't speed boost. So curry slide, just expect everybody in the community to be curry sliding behind screens. That's just gonna be the way that the meta is gonna be until people figure out a new meta. You know what I mean? Maybe we will get back to people having a shooting big in the corner and isoing up because of ankle breakers coming back. But as of right now, everybody curry slides behind screens, everybody. Um, let's see. It says they've moved park dribbles to L3. So you have to left stick click in to do more consistent dribble moves from the park moves. Me, honestly, I don't like the park dribble moves mainly because yeah, it's nice when you're coming up court to do, but for the most part, it's not effective when trying to use your strategy like curry slide behind screens. Um, Let's see. Improved the frame rate performance for the Switch version of the game. Hey, all you Nintendo Switch users, great. Fix the PC only issue where users might get stuck in a pro, aim, pro stick aiming selector screen at the main menu. PC users, I feel for you guys. Not only do y'all have to deal with hackers, now y'all gotta deal with hackers that are using aimbot. GG's. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's talk about gameplay. They said that they've actually increased the size of the shot meter, which is great. You know what I mean? It was it was all the feedback that everybody needed. Um, this says that they've reduced the first step acceleration, aka speed boost, out of certain dribble moves. So if you guys play stage or even some people at the park, there were certain moves that a player could do, and he could just throw the ball in front of him and take off. And there's really nothing you can do to stop it. If you're the person getting screened, that person speed boosts is right past you, shoots the, the fade. If you were a person trying to pick up on somebody, they can use that move, still do the fade because you wouldn't have time to switch, or they can just speed boost past both of y'all in twos and just lay the ball up. Also, it says that they've lowered the effectiveness of dribble pull-ups. Now, I know what you guys thinking. Yeah, right. I'm thinking the same thing. Um, fades are just a way that the game has been since 2K forever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like fades just have been great so many times. You know what I mean? And honestly. When you think about it, 2K really can't like make the fade that terrible because when you think about it, most of the fades that people take aren't contested technically because they're moving away from the defender. And especially if the defender isn't that good of a defender, fades will always be wide open shots anyway. Um, let's see. Fixed an issue that was causing CPU big men defenders to get matched up against guards. Great. 
Thanks. Added the ability for more moves to yield ankle breakers and defensive reactions. Ankle breakers. This is your, your tagline right here. This is what you guys have been wanting. Improve responsiveness of shots coming from certain post moves. Post players. Maybe y'all post takeover might do something now. I don't I don't know. Um, excellent release jumper animations. Now play when green centered aim shots on the pro stick. So now for everybody out there that is aim botting, you can now do green animations every time you aim bot. Thanks. Fix the pro stick. A shooting exploit that allowed for easy aiming when holding the pro stick prior to receiving the catch now I know what y'all are thinking this has to help with the people that are aim body in all honesty this does not help the aim by issue mainly because people that are aim botting are not sitting in a corner pre holding L1 or whatever they're holding on their little controller to shoot that perfect aimed excellent release every single time. These players are curry slime behind screens, dribbling, fading, doing all different kinds of things. So just because they fix an exploit where a person would be able to aim before they caught the ball does not mean that this addresses anything that with aimbot. Um, general improvements to defensive movement, including more responsive shifts, cuts and stops that means they have hopefully fixed all of the defensive sliding that you may have encountered at the park now remember lag latency all of that is still there but if you feel like you run it up to a defender with your player your player probably won't slide right past that player and then that player go the other way and shoot a fading three you know what i mean stuff like that now my career optimized performance camera angles i'm not worried about that Fix the issue where if a player skipped the story between high schools, not worried about that. General stability improvements in college, not worried about that. See, this is the problem. This patch is addressing a whole lot of prelude stuff. People don't have the game already. We don't really care about stuff like this. Fix the issue where takeover meter may fail to increase in certain cases. Like it. Fix the issue where halftime was sometimes not triggered during my player builder games. Not worried about the my player builder games. Fix the issue where a coach wouldn't put you in the game during overtime and hot, not, I don't care. Fix the issue that would sometimes cause the game recap total screen to not display properly following my career NBA games. Thank you. Fix the hang that could happen when a jump ball was triggered in my court's new personal workout drill. Thanks. Fixed a hang that could happen for PC users when using the mouse to customize the Gatorade GX bottle. All right, my team. Yeah, Um. so look, y'all got like some adjusted single player, triple threat and triple threat online difficulties. Nice. Y'all got a new page added on the back of the player cards that list the upgradable badges for their player. Um, they fixed the hang that could happen during the lineup matches overlay from Domination. Fix the old Xbox One only issue. Oh, Xbox, you, you had an issue, Xbox. Um, that allowed the game clock to continue counting down while inbounding the ball. Improved physics for ball drops. My league and my GM. New NBA playoffs modes bracket um, match me, matching the start of the current playoffs. Fix the issue when overlays appeared with the incorrect year in the WNBA playoff mode. Uh, many more fixes included to improve the overall experience of NBA 2K21 across all game modes. So, with that being said, um right now get your keyboard out type in w or l that's literally it i want to thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in the next one peace